Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about how to use a blank slide and what that means um, when you're creating e-learning. So basically here I have um, my initial slide and this is basic clip art from Microsoft. They have some pretty cool clip art now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my slide master and I've inserted this uh, image in my slide master and there's two hyperlinks. There's one here over the woman here and then there's another over this woman here. These are the only two items in this slide that have a hyperlink. Um, and I showed you how to do hyperlinks in previous videos. Um, so then I'm going to close here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to insert another slide using the slide master. So it's a duplicate slide and I'll insert one more. And one of these is going to become my blank slide. So what I want it to do is I want it to look like, let me just delete this here, it wanted to look seamless. So I want it to look as if whatever I click on um, happens in a single slide, when really it isn't. So that's basically what a blank slide does. It's a duplicate of my slide, but on this slide I'm going to have an action occur. I'm going to put a box over here and I'm going to make it transparent. Just click on it. Let's go to shape fill. And more fill, and let's put it at 50%. Okay, and there we go. And then I'm going to do another shape. I'm going to put it right up here. And I'm going to add some text to this. type okay so now what's going to happen is uh, whenever you click on one of the two women it will take you to this slide here and then what I can do is I can also put a little radio or a little action button here and just I'm going to insert a hyperlink over it directly on it and I'm going to have it go to the third slide Okay, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so I get the rotation here, a little bit wider too. There we go. And I'm going to turn it. It looks like a little, everyone knows what this means. It means you can go forward. I can get it straight here. Okay, that's good. It's a little crooked, but. Okay, I don't know why I can't get this straight, but I'm going to shrink it down some and move it over and of course this is going to drive me a little nuts okay so anyway so that's done and then um, this hyperlink is going to go to this slide so now when we play it it's going to look as if it everything's occurring on one slide so if i click here you get the box it looks like it happened on the same slide like it just popped up this box there and it returns back to natural when you click on um, the little button so that's basically what uh, blank slide does it allows you to create an action um, that looks seamless so it transitions from one slide to another so it really looks like this slide or this uh, transparency popped up right here and then you just return to your slide now I could have just returned to this slide and had it go through the motions again you can do this for all the characters during the slide and just create a separate slide for each character that's your blank slide and this would be your main slide so I hope you found this useful and uh, I look forward to doing more of these